Hello guys, welcome to Bikers Nation, your one-stop biking encopedia where I tell you all you need to know to choose the bike that's best for you, to understand the working of your motorcycle better and to get the best out of your biking experience. We have all seen motorcycle engines and how the motorcycle cylinder looks with these group surface consisting of structures that we call fins. But the question is, what are these fins? and what are the functions that these fins perform on the motorcycle cylinder. So friends, keep watching this video till the end because that is what we are going to be talking about today in this video. So, let's get started. We all know that the motorcycle runs from the energy derived from combustion of fuel air mixture within this very cylinder itself. Therefore, quite naturally, the cylinder happens to be the hottest part of the motorcycle. With continued running of the bike, the temperature of the cylinder continues to rise. But for the perfect functioning of the bike, we need to have a perfect temperature condition maintained. It is there where the function of the cooling system of a motorcycle engine comes into play. In air-cooled engines, the cylinder fins are the structures that are responsible for efficient cooling of the motorcycle engine. These fins increase the surface area of the cylinders to not to 2 or 3 times but up to 14 times. That is very much necessary for the heat exchange to occur and for the perfect cooling to take place. As you might have noticed, it is not only our motorcycle cylinders that come equipped with such fin-like roof structures, but these structures are present on a wide range of appliances starting from our computer motherboards to our air conditioned outlets to the transformers. The basic function of these fins on all the appliances is to increase the surface area available for heat exchange. In the other appliances as mentioned, since these appliances are stationary in their nature, therefore they come equipped additionally with fans that help in driving the air, warm air away, increasing the cooling efficiency. But in case of a motorcycle, since it's not a stationary object, therefore fans are not necessary for the functioning of the fins. As the motorcycle moves, cool air from the environment comes in contact with the cylinder and with the increased area of the cylinder, efficient and more heat exchange occurs resulting in cooling and the optimum temperature is maintained within the motorcycle engine. In larger motorcycles that have a bigger engine and a greater quantity of fuel undergoes combustion resulting in more heat generation, air cooling is not sufficient to provide sufficient cooling to the bike's engine. There comes the necessity of additional cooling mechanisms including the oil cool mechanisms, a liquid cool mechanisms in which a part of the engine oil or a specially designed coolant fluid runs along a radiator that helps in providing the additional cooling necessary for these motorcycles. So by now I guess you have quite well understood how the cylinder fins provide efficient cooling to the motorcycle. So far as oil cooling or liquid cooling is concerned, I'll be making dedicated video on oil and air cooling as well. But so far in this video about cylinder and cylinder fins, that's what we have. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, do not forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to Bikers Nation, for more such videos and press the bell icon to get notified with our stuff. Till then, thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Yeah.